Hey guys, I'm Natalie. Welcome to today's workout. Today will be another low impact, but I promise still high intensity workout. You will need a set of two hand weights for all four of the rounds today, and we'll be standing for the entire routine. You can grab a floor mat for the cool down. Let's start with a nice wide stance. Your feet are facing out to the corners of the room and start with a little squat tap and let's set our form, pull yourself up through the crown of the head, a nice long tall torso from the top of the skull to the tip of the spine, supported by a really strong core. Roll the shoulders up and back for one, two, three, keeping them back and down the whole time you're working out. Bring your arms up and when you're ready, little jabs to the front. So there's a, an imaginary punching bag right in the front. Or you can imagine like one of these is gonna hit you right in the tummy and you've got your abs braced, ready for impact. Let's do a few more to the front for three, two, and one. Let's squat a little deeper and do uppercuts. So now that punching bag is up here in front of your face and you're really punching up into it, warming up the upper body, come a little bit deeper in the squat tap. For three, two, and one, turn it into crossbody hooks, bringing the punch at shoulder height and swiveling at the hip, keeping those abs engaged. For three, two, and one. Keep this wide stance, reach side to side, pushing the body into a side lunge and keeping that torso long and tall so you're not hunching over. You've always got a nice, long, tall torso supported by a strong core every time you're pivoting forward. For three, two, and one from here, drive it up and squeeze through the heels and squat it back. And look at your squat, knees should be behind toes. If your knees are coming forward, then you've got to pull your booty to the back of the room and sit deeper into the squat for three, two, and one. Shuffle on the spot, I'll show you the first move. Wide stance, grab your weight, shoulders are back and down, don't hunch them up, squat, curtsy, squat, stand. So you're gonna stay low, 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 and stand. Get ready. Here we go. Squat, curtsy, squat, stand. So you're almost tapping that left foot back behind you, but into a curtsy position where it's bent and you're looking under your right armpit at that knee as you're going back into the curtsy. Well done, guys. So other side. Squat, curtsy, squat, stand. Don't hunch the shoulders up, keep them back and down. Right foot's going back, here we go. Squat, curtsy, squat, stand. So stay low, the whole movement. Low, 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 stand. Stepping nice and deep back into the curtsy. It's a move for the glutes. Two, one. Rest and watch your right foot. Back into a rear lunge with the front raise. Side lunge, rear lunge, stand and push the arms back. Here we go. Rear lunge, side lunge, rear lunge, stand. So we're moving a little bit slower to give you time to move from rear to side to rear. Stand and push the arms back. The palms are facing in towards the body. So we're moving a little bit slower on this one to move from the rear to the side. Need a little break already. Left foot, rear lunge. Here we go. Rear, side, rear, stand. So come into two 90 degree angles on that rear lunge. So you're not tapping the foot back. You're bending that back leg into a rear lunge. Well done guys, wide stance. Raise your right heel, come up on the ball of your foot. We're gonna squat, pulse, pulse, stand with the knee up, here we go. Squat, pulse, pulse, stand. Come nice and low into that squat. Make sure the knees are pressed back. We're working the inner thigh. Come low and then do those two pulses. Squat, pulse, pulse, stand. Palms are facing in, up onto the ball of your left foot. Raise the heel. When you come down, don't let the knees collapse in. Press them back. Shoulders are back and down, here we go. Squat, pulse, pulse, and then stand up, raising the knee. Keep that heel raised. Get into that 
left inner thigh a little bit more. Five seconds. Two, one. Well done, guys. Tuck one hand in, squat, stand, and then knee across the body, elbow across the body. Here we go. Squat and then across. So it's two distinct moves. One, two, three, four. We're doing the squat and then the crossbody crunch. Keep it moving. Elbow to the midplane, knee to the midplane. Making sure you're sitting back into that squat. So knees aren't forward. You're sitting back and then you're not crunching over. You're keeping the torso long and tall. Here we go. Squat, stand and across. So you should feel just a small crunching movement in the core. Just focus on driving the knee across the body and the elbow across the body. Two, one. Well done, guys. Grab a drink and then you'll need two hand weights for the next round. So on this one, kick and then switch feet for a tap back. On the kick, I want you to kick up into an imaginary punching bag in front of you. So kick right, here we go. Kick and tap back left. Kick, tap back left. So kick that foot up into the air. I don't want you to just lift the leg. Kick it up, tap it back. Changing arms, changing legs. You've got to use your core to stabilize that back too. Other side. So kick and then change feet and arms. Kick, change feet and arms. Shoulders back and down. Get ready, kick and tap. So you're not just lifting the leg, you're kicking up. And then a gentle arm push. Don't throw that weight around. Push and push. Using the core to support your torso. Well done guys, wide stance. Big bicep curl, hug the weights all the way up to your chest, palms in. Squat, stand, and then kick through the door with a flat foot. Here we go. Squat, stand, kick. So the foot is flexed, and you're kicking through a door with the base of the foot. So you come all the way up and kick. Nice big bicep curl. Two, one. Other side. Squat it down and kick. Same thing. Sit back into the squat, not forward. Booty goes to the back of the room. Here we go. Squat and kick. Really big bicep curl, guys. And pushing through that door like you mean it. Squat and kick it. The kick can be low. But make sure you're not just lifting your leg. All right. Upright row, don't hunch the shoulders, wide stance. Side lunge, and then as you come out, I want you to use the top of the foot to flick an imaginary punching bag. Side lunge, kick it. So the punching bag is right in front of your right foot, and as you lift that foot off the ground, you're kicking with the top of your foot and your shin. Kick it. Almost a roundhouse kick. So other side, so we're kicking with this top part of our body as we lift the leg out of the side lunge. Don't hunch the shoulders. Here we go. Side lunge, kick. So we're doing an upright row with the arms, pulling the hand weights up towards the armpits. Come nice and deep in the side lunge, working the inner thigh and the booty as you push off that foot. Guys, see if you can clasp your hands together. We're gonna to go from hip to hip, tap behind, and then do that same kick movement. Here we go. Tap behind, kick, and kick. Keeping the weight very close to your body and moving it hip to hip. You can tap the foot to the front if you're losing your balance. So you're just kicking with the top of your foot. Two, one. Other side. So behind and tap, or behind and kick. So you're kicking with the front of your foot. Get ready. 
Tap behind and tap or kick. Just moving the weight from hip to hip, keeping the elbows tucked into the body. It's a small move, it's for the core. Tap the foot if you're losing your balance. A few more guys, three, two, one. Grab a drink, you are halfway done. Two hand weights, back to the start, wide stance, shoulders are back and down. Squat, curtsy, squat, stand. Don't hunch the shoulders, keep them back and down. Cuts me. Here we go. Squat, curtsy, squat, stand. We're moving briskly on this one because we have to slow it down on the next one. Come low in that curtsy. The curtsy is a booty move. Two, one. Other side, down. Curtsy. So the curtsying leg comes all the way behind the left shoulder, the knees close to the ground. Here we go. Squat, curtsy, squat, stand. Staying low, 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 stand. You need to engage that core as you stand out of the squat. Two, one. Rest and watch. Your right leg. Rear lunge, side lunge, rear lunge. Stand and push the arms back. Here we go. Rear, side, rear, stand. Moving a little bit slower. So we can get deep into the rear and deep into the side lunge. I've run out of my ability to talk. Two, one. Well done, guys. Making sure in the rear lunge that you're not stepping back, you're tucking this hip and you've got a 90 degree angle with that lunging leg. Here we go. Rear, side, rear, stand. Keep breathing. Keep the palms facing down or in towards the body. A few more, guys. Five seconds. All right, I got us out of a bit there. Wide stance. Come up on the ball of your right foot. Palms facing in. Squat, pulse, pulse, stand. Here we go. Squat, pulse, pulse, stand. Come nice and low. Keep those knees pressed back. And then drive all your weight through your left leg as you lift your right leg off the ground. Two. One, I'm gonna grab the rest. Lift your heel of your left leg. Get ready. Here we go, squat, pulse, pulse, stand. As you stand, push your body weight up through your right foot. Come low, pulse, pulse, stand. So we're working inner thigh. We're also working booty, quads. Shoulders. Well done, guys. Wide stance. Tuck one in, it can be on your hip, whatever's comfortable. Squat and then cross. Let's do it. Squat, stand and across. Don't just go through the motion. Imagine your core doing the work. Knee to elbow and then focus on the abs and crunch it. So other side. So as you come across, imagine that contraction in the core. Let's go. Squat, stand, and across. So guys, last time we're doing this today, try and make everyone count. If you need to take a longer break, put it on pause, grab your breath, and then get back into it. The rest is just as important as the high intensity. Grab a drink, grab a rest. Two hand weights. Right leg, kick it up, change feet, tap it back. Kick, tap it back. Last round. Here we go, kick and tap it back. Kick it up, tap it back. Be gentle with the arm push. Kick that foot up. 
Don't just lift the leg. Let's go, guys. Five seconds. Two, one. Other side. Kick and tap it back. Kicking with your left leg, pressing with your right arm. Here we go, kick and tap it back. Reaching forward with the arm, gently. Don't throw the weight forward. You are gonna feel your arms today, I promise. A few more guys. Five seconds. Two, one. Wide stance, palms facing into the body. Giant bicep curl. Bicep curl, kick through the door with a flat foot. Here we go. Bicep and kick. Squat and kick. I'm doing a nice giant bicep curl. Bringing it from my chest to the ground. A few more. Three, two, one. Half a one. I am feeling it today, guys. Okay, get ready. Other side. Squat, stand, kick. You can kick low. It's the same movement. Kicking with the base of the foot. The foot is flexed. You're sitting back into the squat, nice and deep. We're almost done, guys. Let's keep it going. Two, one. Wide stance, shoulders back and down. Don't hunch them up. Side lunge. And as you come out of the side lunge, pick up your right foot and kick the front of the punching bag. Side, kick. Side, kick. It can be low or high. Whatever you're comfortable doing. Feeling inner thigh and booty. The booty's working as you push that foot off the ground. So you should be feeling booty as you push out. Grabbing a rest. Other side. Don't hunch the shoulders. Side lunge and then an upright row. So you're pushing off with that foot and then flicking it forward. Hitting the top of the foot onto that punching bag. Five seconds. Two, one. I got us out of a bit of one. Clasp the hands together. Tap behind, tap to the side, or kick. Get ready, tap behind and tap side, or kick. That punching bag, foot is low. Keep the elbows tucked into the body. You're swiveling, hip to hip. It's a core move. Keep the abs engaged, back is tall. Other side. Tap behind. Tap to the side or kick to the side. All right, get ready to tap behind. Here we go. Tap, tap or tap, kick. You're flicking the top of your foot against the punching bag. The foot and the shin, elbows tucked into the body. Think of it as just pushing your elbow behind, behind. Guys, you are done. Well done. I'm doggy free today. So grab your mat, I'll grab their mat, and bring your right leg forward and press through that left hip. Breathe into it. Nice, long, slow, deep breaths. Bring your left arm up, catch it with your right, and breathe into that elbow. And push out against this hand. Nice, long, slow, deep breath. still pushing through that hip. Reach the arm up down the center of the back, push down with the other elbow, with the other hand, sorry, on the elbow, very gently leaning over the right side of your body, really opening up the left side, feeling that hip stretch a little bit more, come back to center, tuck these toes under, keep the knee on the ground, or lift it up off the ground in a runner's lunge, arms come up overhead, shoulders have to stay back and down, don't hunch them up, look up between the hands, opening up that hip a little bit more, left hand on the inside of the right foot, and very gently pivoting and looking under your right arm. Back to center, knee back on the ground. If it's off, push the body weight back and flex this front foot and very gently coming forward with a flat back, just as far as you need to, to feel it. Feeling the hamstring stretch, breathing into that hamstring, switching sides. 
Other foot comes forward, pushing through that hip, breathing into it. Arm comes up, catch it, and press out against this bent arm and breathe into that elbow. Nice, long, slow, deep breaths. Reach the arm up, down the center of the back, press down on the elbow, very gently leaning over the left side of your body. <sighs> Opening up that hip a little bit more. Feels good. Back to center, tuck these toes under, lift the knee off the ground if you like. Hands come overhead, shoulders are back and down, look up between the hands. <sighs> Breathe nice and long and deep. Bring your right hand on the inside of your left foot and very gently pivot, looking under your left armpit this time. Drop the knee back to center, push the body weight back and flex this front foot and just come as far forward as you need to to feel it. So don't hunch over to get down there and just a nice long tall back, breathing into that hamstring, keeping this foot flexed. Well done guys, step the feet together, come into a little crunch position or a little, little crouch. We're slowly going to come up one vertebrae at a time. Keep the knees bent, walking your hands up your shins, over the knees, up your quads, slowly, slowly, slowly stack the vertebrae one on top of each other. The head's the last to come up slowly, slowly, slowly. Well done guys. Big arm circles up and back for one, two, three. Grab your hands, pull them down. Let's open up that chest. Switch which hand is on top. Open up the other side. Let's do a quick quad stretch. Hang on to something if you need to. Stretch out those quads. Try and keep the knees close together and pressing out through that hip. Breathing into it, other side. So guys, sometimes when I'm not feeling like I'm work I want to work out or I'm tired, I didn't sleep well or I've had a busy day, I will just do four minutes or I'll do just two rounds, one and two. Because there's a lot of research to show that doing short amounts of high intensity activity like we're doing here is extremely good for your heart, for your VO2 max. So that's a, a, a big indicator of longevity. It's a big indicator of mortality from heart disease, from cardiovascular disease. So if you don't have time to work out or you don't feel like working out, it's okay just to do one round. It's okay just to do four minutes. And you can give yourself a pat on the back and feel good that you moved your body for the day. So don't think, Oh, if I don't have time to do all 20 minutes, then I may as well do nothing at all. Not at all. Even if you just want to go for a walk around the block, if you want to walk up and down the stairs in your house, if you've got stairs, 10 times, just do something and get the body moving because that will make a difference. Every little bit that you do throughout the day makes a difference. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this workout today. I feel like it really worked me out. I don't know if it's because it's very hot here. Uh, maybe it's because we use two hand weights for the whole time. Uh, but I hope to see you next time. Thanks, guys.